Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. My name is Megan Mackey. I am a web developer, but I don't actually work as one yet, though I would like to. But that is why I cannot be there today and have made this video instead. Uh, my presentation is going to be a rough overview of a website I made using CSS, JavaScript, uh, CSS Grid and Flexbox specifically, and HTML, of course. Uh, so we'll just first uh, look at the game and how it is playing. Uh, I'm looking at my notes because uh, I need them. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, this is a... I also covered this website for She Codes recently as well, back in March, and that was a little more detailed. Uh, so if you want to know more about the code and uh, get links to information about the things I used to build this. Uh, there's a presentation, a slideshow I made that I can get to you some way, uh, either by sharing in Slack or I'll send it to uh, someone who runs the free code camp meetups. So let's start with looking at the game itself. Let's switch over here and then turn me off so you can see it a little better. Okay. Uh, so, this is just a simple little game. Uh, it's more of a game of chance. Uh, right now, you can't actually win it, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, so, you just uh, have to play until you lose. So, I'll play it really quick so you can see how, just how it works. So, you've got the instructions and points, the scorings over here, and then on the right you have the game board itself, so I'll just play it really quick, and then you can see the score and the lives changing. Uh -oh. And now I've lost. <laughs> and start new game. Okay, so uh, I made this game with this specific theme for a school project. Uh, the teacher suggested one of the things that we could make for this project be a game, and at the same time, uh, a song came out that this theme of this game is based on. Uh, it's actually based on a K-pop song, uh, which I will not play, but um, it is... I'm going to turn myself off. So I'm not going to play it, uh, but it is the song Banana Allergy Monkey by the K-pop group uh, oh My Girl. It's just a cutesy song about a poor monkey who loves bananas, but he can't eat them, so he, uh, he has to drink banana milk instead. Um, but uh, part of the song's themes are like an 8 or 16-bit kind of music style, and it's also part of the artwork as well. So that's how I came up with this theme. Uh, basically, the song came out and I was like, why not base my project on that? Um, so my goals while building this were for it to be responsive and accessible or responsive and ex as accessible as I could make it. And I also wanted to, it to be fun. Um, and so, yeah. And so for it to have the scoring method, random card layout, new new each time, and also being able to start a new game just by clicking a button and without having to refresh the page. Um, so next, uh, we'll kind of look at the structure of it, not really the code itself, but just the structure so you can see how it looks. Um, since I don't have a lot of time, uh, don't really want to dive too deeply into that stuff, and I think you can learn a lot or at least be inspired by just looking at this. Uh, so as you can see, it resized um, when I opened up the inspector and then like that. Now it's more uh, friendly for smaller layouts. And the images resize as well. Uh, they are actually SVGs, which I think I'm pretty sure stands for scale scalable vector graphics, but that may not be true. So maybe look it up later. <laughs> but they resize as well. Um, so yeah, okay, so 
So I'll make that, that's a little easier for us to look at and for me to stay in frame as well. So uh, to start off, we'll look at it, uh, the flex part. So this out, uh, the whole of the HTML is surrounded by this outer wrapper. It's like what holds everything, it holds everything on the inside. And you can see this like purple outline on it that's around everything. And then there are two flex items, which are the game text, which is on the left side. And then, oops, hang on, let me go back. Hang on. Okay, the game text, which is on the left, and then the game area, which is on the right. The lines between it is very thin, uh, but you can kind of see it right here where it's uh, left and right, and then when I highlight it, you can see as well. And then again, those just pop around each other depending on the size. Um, and to further break those down and to keep everything inside of those flex containers neat, they are grids. So we have this game text and it is grid, a grid, and each is an area is named, and you can see how the grid is laid out here, and then this section is also a grid. Let's see, turn that on so you can see it, and again, it's really faint, but you can see how everything is laid out along the grid lines as well, and again, those just flex, and change like that. And let's see what is next in my notes. It's, I know it's a short video, but I still need in the notes just in case. Okay, so you can see how the main structure of the page is laid out. So now we'll look at the cards, because um, that section is pretty special. <laughs> well, not pretty special, uh, just Maybe a little special. Oh, and one thing to note here, looking at it on the side on the left, is that uh, there's a hidden element here, and that's that game over button. So uh, it will fade back in whenever the JavaScript sees that the number of lives has equaled to zero. Um, so let's see, look at those buttons. So each of these cards is actually a button. Uh, I made it, them as buttons so that because they come with uh, like accessible features by default, if they were just divs, this would be a lot, require more work to make work, but I can just tap the keyboard and tab through those and hit enter to flip them over. So that's nice. It makes it really easy and easy for people who have to use a keyboard and can't use a mouse. Um, so each button is actually in container for the front and the backs of cards. These are inserted using JavaScript and the assignment of the card back is random based on JavaScript pulling from an array of potential cards to insert as the front or the back. Um, so yeah, and they are all positioned right on top of each other using CSS positioning. It's kind of like magic, uh, but it works. Um, so let's see what else should I need to cover. I think that's just about everything. Uh, the animations for this are also just CSS animations. Um, so that is, uh, I need to turn, I want to turn that off. Uh, that is also just done the card flips and then the board fading out when the lives reach zero and everything. Those are all just CSS animations. Uh, they're pretty easy to learn and execute, uh, but making them look really smooth and nice may take a little bit of work, but yeah. Oh, and then you can see here in the HTML how things how that changed whenever 
the uh, game was over. And so I'm getting close to my time already, which I thought would not happen. So let's see anything else I need to cover. So the JavaScript also reads uh, each card as it's turned over the card backs and assigns points and changes the lives based on that information. And uh, yeah, also checks how many lives and are left and removes the game board if the lives are zero. And it does this each time you click, it's checking for these things. And um, let's see, check my notes. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is just a very quick overview of this and I can get that link to the more detailed PowerPoint to you all and uh, hopefully it at least inspires you. <laughs> If nothing else, like to see what you can maybe make outside of a traditional type website and to see that you can be ex inspired by things that maybe seem a little silly. Um, like even though this is seems silly, I still learned a lot in the process of making it about JavaScript, about CSS, even about HTML. And there are things that I learned here that can be important for more regular websites, for more serious things. But this was fun to make. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's uh, kind of it. Thank you for watching. I hope, sorry I couldn't be there. If you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to me in Slack. I'm just Megan Mackey on there, or you can maybe ask one if you have any questions Maybe ask one of the people who are there to get those to me and I can answer them later. Uh, but yeah, Megan Mackey is my name um, and I'll make sure to get that information to you. And this is also published on GitHub as a site you can look at. So you can look at the code yourself too to uh, learn more about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you for coming and I hope you liked it. Uh, have a good day.